you guys. Welcome to our upper body workout for our second week of the May Fitness and Wellness Challenge. Today, all you need is your yoga mat and a set of weights. We're gonna go ahead and come over to the mat. I want you to start out, just take that left arm and reach it overhead, slight hinge towards the side, nice stretch of those obliques. And then again, other arm, take it up and over and reach, lengthening through those fingertips. Now, go ahead, step to the edge of your mat. We're gonna inhale and reach up. Lengthen, lengthen, exhale, dive down towards the mat. Hold this stretch for a moment, bend in that left knee and bend in that right knee. Just enjoy this nice long stretch. You can release the neck muscles, just let that head hang. And then we're gonna walk it on out to our plank. Wrists lined up under the shoulders, heels in line with the hips. We're gonna drive it up to downward dog. Press those heels towards the mat. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, flow back to your plank. And again, drive it up, downward dog. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, flow back to your plank. One more, drive it up. And come back to your plank. Now here's time for our work. Take those hands a little wider for our push-ups. We're gonna do eight push-ups. You have the option to be on your toes, one knee down or both knees down. Nice tight core, nice long spine from the Top of that head all the way down to the tailbone. Okay, here we go for eight. And seven. And six. You got this. And five. Woo! Four. Three. Two. Last one. Excellent. Stretch it back in child's pose. Stretch through those shoulders. You can pull the right shoulder, right elbow back to go a little deeper into that left shoulder. And then switch, press through the right, pull the left elbow back. All right, we're gonna stay on all fours and I want you to grab one weight. I'm going with four pounds this morning. You can have several options and switch it up as you need. We're gonna have some bird dog, okay? So left leg's gonna extend back option to add a lift as I do. Bring in a little booty and core. Right arm is going to lift forward for a little shoulder lift here. Okay, so extend it out, lower down. Make sure that knee is directly underneath the hip and we extend through that weight right to shoulder height or a little below. Good. Let's do four more of these. Feeling through our weighted shoulder and the one pressing into the mat. Last one, good. All right, now bring the knee in. We're gonna switch the hand so the back of your hand is facing outwards. And we're gonna do a reverse fly right here. So just open out, lower down. Out, slight bend to that elbow. So the weight hovers above the mat. Woo! Shoulders feeling that burn. Last one. Good, go ahead, stretch it back in child's pose. Continuing on this side, we're gonna extend that left leg back once again. Elbow squeezes up, switching to our triceps. So extend through that weight, only moving the forearm. Lift out towards the sky, stop at the hip looking just a few inches in front of that hand that's on the mat. Leg is lifting full range. Now half range, we're gonna take it to the top, lower halfway, lift and down. Feel that core engage, belly button coming into that spine for four, three, two, get ready to pulse at the top. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, lower down, set the weight to the side. Let's stretch it back in child's pose. Stretch through those shoulders. 
Big inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And roll it up to sitting. Let's go ahead, take that left arm. We're gonna stretch it across. This supporting shoulder is getting a lot of work, right? Just from being our stability while we work the right side. And now we get to switch. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around just so you can see everything because we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna start out now, back to that tabletop. This time, right leg is gonna extend back and the weight is in the left hand. All right, make sure that supporting wrist is under the shoulder, knee is under the hip for right angle. All right, leg is back, option to lift as we lift forward for our shoulders. So here we go. Full range, all the way up, all the way down. You can hover that weight right above the mat, or if you need a little rest, you can set it down on the mat. Extend through that big toe as you lift. Think about lengthening that leg to feel that glute working. We've got four more. Good. Woo! Excellent job. All right, now bring the knee in. We're gonna switch to that reverse fly. Okay, hand, back of hand facing out, and we lift up. All right, keeping that chest facing down. Core is engaged here, working hard as we lift it up. Squeeze behind that shoulder to fly away, nice and controlled, using muscle, not momentum. Last one, excellent. Quick stretch before we switch to the triceps. Inhale and exhale, remember to take deep breaths. Good, all right, come back up on all fours. Grab that weight again, right leg extends back. Squeezing that elbow up, switching to our triceps. Here we go, full range, lift and down. Extend through that big toe, only moving that forearm. Notice from elbow up to the shoulder, is staying completely still, squeezing that tricep. Half range, take it up, lower halfway. Up, halfway, good. Woo! Squeeze that glute, engage that core, and press that weight. And now we pulse at the top. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Stretch it back. Hmm. Pressing through those palms, through those shoulders. Go ahead, pull that left elbow back and the right. And roll it up. All right, go ahead, bring it on up to standing and bring both weights with you. We're gonna switch to our biceps. All right, so coming on up to standing, heels together, toes apart, our first position. We're gonna bring in just a little bit of leg work. Might as well. All right, turn those palms out. We're gonna start with just a bicep curl and a plie. All right, so bend the knees. You can always opt out of the leg work and just focus on that upper body solely. Chest is lifted, core engaged again. Always engaged, half range. Take it down, stop halfway. Legs do the same. Ooh, we have a diamond shape right there, okay? If you look at the legs, as they squeeze, they don't close together. But we are working those muscles. Now hold it here. We're gonna open the arms out to the side and bring them back in front. Okay, again, we're gonna speed that up for tempo. All right, as you open, I want you to think about pressing the knees back. Press, so you're squeezing right below those glutes and front, good. Woo! Four more of these, and three, and two. Now we're gonna put it together, all right? We're gonna do a half range, and then press back. Good, shoulder stop it, belly button open and front. Shoulder, belly button open and front. One more, good. All right, now we're gonna bring that left leg in as we bring it to bicep. Left toe comes to knee, lower down, tap it back. Good, knee, heels, tap back and in. Again, passe, close heels, open and front. Keep going, woo, tap, 
and in. Squeeze up, squeeze the heels, open. Lots of squeezing. <laughs> Tap the knees and front. You got this. Down, open out, and front. Two more. Close. Notice we lift it up, lower down to plie, and tap. Now we're going to hold it here in front and a little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten, shake it out, roll those shoulders back. We're going to start from the beginning. Full range plie, bicep curl. Here we go. Lower down, squeeze those thighs. Knees track out over our toes. All right, hips externally rotated. How far is up to you? Sink it down and up two more. Now half range, take it down. Stop right there at the belly button. Down, good. Shoulder, lower, squeezing those biceps. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Two more, woo! Now we hold it in front, open side and front side and front. Knees tap with us. All right, knees tap back. Four more. And three. Two, our combo comes up next. Here we go. This time, right toe comes to the knee. Lower down, tap back. Knee, lower, tap, and front. Squeeze up, lower down, tap. Squeeze, heels, tap. Four more, up down, tap, squeeze, heels, tap, last two, plie, tap, one more, we hold it here and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, straighten those legs, we're going to serve the weights out, squeeze it back, out, Woo! so we're giving the legs a little break, just serve it out, four more, three, Two, take it back into that plie, pulse it one more time right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. All right, set those weights down. Go ahead, open that chest up, thumbs up, and thumbs down. Now come to the edge of your mat. I want you to inhale, reach up, and exhale, dive down. We're gonna walk out back to our plank. We're gonna take our hands wide, eight final push-ups. So we got this, here we go. For eight, seven, six. Reminder, you can have both knees down. You can have one knee down. Last two, last one. Nice and strong, stretch it back in child's pose. Take a minute just to enjoy that stretch. Awesome job today. You crushed this upper body workout. Go ahead, let's sit crisscross applesauce and take that arm, left arm up, bend at the elbow, gentle stretch here, and switch. And open up, left arm across, and other arm across. All right, great job today. You crushed it. Make sure to send me a message. Let me know you got your upper body workout done and you are growing in strength and positive attitude and hopefully taking back time for you. I'll see you for our next workout.